and uh, he said, hey, I know you don't know me, but I want to thank you for saving my life. My name is Andrew Bergman, and I am one of the young adult professional public speakers. He said, I went to St. Joe's Prep, and I was a freshman during the speech that you delivered, and had it not been for that speech, I probably wouldn't be here today. I wish somebody had told me, Drew, he will get better, because I never felt like he would survive. There's not one place in America, there's not one place in this world that has not been impacted by mental health. But the problem is that we're not talking about mental health, we're not treating mental health the same way that we talk and treat physical health. And Minding Your Mind is starting that conversation. My name is Jordan Burnham. I've been a part of Minding Your Mind uh, for the last 10 years. I was induced into a coma for five days. Now I wake up from a coma, everything feels like a dream. Uh, once I got out of the hospital, there was this lady, uh, Susan Saylor, and she said, hey, I just wanted to meet you, sit down, have a conversation. Susan and Saylor was uh, talking to him about what Minding Your Mind is about. And we sit down and we start talking about our depression and how we struggle and what we deal with. And it was almost like, oh my gosh, there's someone else out here that can feel how I'm feeling. And he was able to connect to her in such a way that I just sat there and like, wow. There was a lot of people coming at him for a lot of different things, but to me, that was the spark that said, mind your mind is gonna be an awesome opportunity. So that ended up being like an hour long conversation. And then she told me that there was this gala. I mean, it was really amazing. Jordan was drawn at the end of the program. There was question and answers. And he asked me to wheel him up. So she wheeled me up to the uh, microphone and at this point, I, I felt really self-conscious about being in a wheelchair. So, you know, I kind of explained what happened, my suicide attempt in, in the fall. And, uh, you know, I asked the question, how can we help young adults talk about suicide in an open and honest way? I think he felt that he didn't want someone to end up, um, you know, having happened to them what happened to him. And that was really the beginning of a journey that we didn't know was unfolding. Then we started talking and started realizing that Minding Your Mind was going to give us this opportunity to share our stories. Uh, my name is Coral Anatel. So my name is Ali Rothrock. My name is Jonathan Bergwin. I'm a mental health advocate for Minding Your Mind. I knew that my experiences had value and the thing that was my greatest liability, my greatest secret has become, you know, one of my greatest assets and, and so I'm like proud to talk about my recovery today, uh, both in schools and in my like daily life. The speakers at Minding Your Mind, we always talk about how if we would have had somebody like us tell a story about being not okay and how that is actually okay. It's okay to not be okay. It just becomes a problem when you think you have to do that by yourself. People that stand with you in your darkest hour illuminate the path to God. For minding your mind for the work they do, they're standing next to people in their darkest hour and they are literally illuminating the path to recovery. The more light that is shown on this topic, hopefully the more people will say that this is a real illness, you know, whether it's depression, whether it's an addiction, Whatever it is, is a disease. And those, you know what, those speakers, courage that it takes to do that, I think that I was so overwhelmed by it, I don't ever want to take that for granted or personally underestimate that. When Drew spoke, we had 500 students in our auditorium, and you could have heard a pin drop. Um, the reason why the speakers resonate with students is because they're authentic and they tell their real story. And even though they're prepared and they're professional, you can tell they're speaking from the heart. Steve and Amy had this vision, but even myself, when they planted that seed of saying, we're gonna build something like Mind in Your Mind, I had no idea that it would have the strength that it does, that it would last as long as it did, that it would have the following that it does today. I mean, to see that, it's humbling uh, to be a part of. 
we have the right talent, we have the right program, we just need the people in the community to get behind us and to support us so that we can impact as many young lives as possible.